The Crown season four continues to give us an insight into the British royal family. This season doesn't heavily focus on Queen Elizabeth II. It gives room to a few other storylines which were very heavy during the time which this season is set. The two storylines which feature majorly are the reign of the Prime Minister at the time, Margaret Thatcher, and also the relationship between Prince Charles, Princess Diana and Camilla Parker Bowles. To say I have been anticipating this season would be an understatement. This is the part of British royal family history that I am most intrigued by. This and the next season are probably going to be the seasons I enjoy the most because it is the period which I am most interested in. So going into this I was expecting a lot and my expectations were completely blown out of the water. This season was spectacular. Season 4 is the best season of The Crown yet. For me personally, the storyline was always going to be the most compelling and is written magnificently well again by Peter Morgan. Bringing these characters to the page and allowing the audience to see the British royal family in all their negatives and positives. However, the highlight of this season and the reason why it is my favourite yet is the new cast members. Emma Corrin is magnificent as Princess Diana and brings such a vulnerability and likeness to the character and just showed why Princess Diana was enamoured by the British public. But there is one performance that stands above everybody else's. Gillian Anderson as Margaret Thatcher. Boy oh boy can that lady act. There have been many performances of Margaret Thatcher in the past. However, Gillian Anderson has just shown me the best performance of the Iron Lady. Every single scene she was in, she stole. And every scene she wasn't in, you was sitting there just waiting for her to come back on screen. She was absolutely amazing in this. And is the reason why this season sits above the other three for me in my rankings. The cast has never been the problem with this program. It has been casted to perfection. Not only is it the highest level of actors putting on these performances, but they all very much look like the real life counterparts which they are playing. The casting director has done an amazing job on all four seasons and deserves a raise. When you have a great cast like The Crown does, I can understand why they want to utilise every cast member to the max they can, especially if one of them cast members are Helena Bonham Carter. Helena Bonham Carter is the main character in episode 7 and puts on a wonderful performance. However, episode 7 was not needed in the grand scheme of things. It didn't push the story forward in any manner and also featured a storyline which really and truly was non-essential in the telling of the British royal family history. So episode 7 was easily the weakest and obviously came from having Helena Bonham Carter, her being underutilised in this season and wanting to give her a storyline. But for me, it was by far the weakest episode of the season. And look, you can't have all your cake and eat it. It can't be a case you can have all these wonderful actors on screen at all times. It's just not possible to do. And episode 7 is a negative from having this many good people in a cast. Episode 8, however, is the best episode of the season. And for me, the best episode of the series yet. Gillian Anderson's Margaret Thatcher and Olivia Coleman's The Queen are meeting at Buckingham Palace and are coming to blows. Not physical blows, mental blows. And this is the episode here which cements Gillian Anderson's performance as the best as Margaret Thatcher yet. She is so good in this episode. Her and Olivia Coleman are just two wonderful actors and they show every single acting skill there is in this episode and the episode is marvelous for me easily the best episode of the season and the best episode of the series episode 8 is one to watch out for just wait for episode 8 
you can sit through episode seven just to get to that episode. It is well worth it. Alongside the magnificent acting was some beautiful cinematography. There are some seriously stunning shots throughout this program. For me, the best shot in the whole series is when Prince Philip and Princess Diana are walking back to the castle after killing a elk. The shot is framed in such a good way. Not only is it stunning, is it beautiful, it also shows the feeling of the scene. Princess Diana has been accepted by Prince Philip and therefore is going to become Prince Charles's wife. And the way it is shot with the castle in the background and the purple sky behind that and Princess Diana and Philip walking towards the rest of the royal family with the dead elk in tow was just... Mwah. I was in awe watching that scene. It was amazing. My fondness for this program cannot be measured. I thoroughly enjoyed season 4 and I definitely think you should check out season 4 if you haven't yet. If you haven't seen any of The Crown, what are you doing? It's on Netflix now, go and check it out. Me personally, I just can't wait for season 5 to come out. Is the story in this compelling and one that I have been anticipating massively? Yes. Season 5 however, where it covers the death of Princess Diana, I cannot wait for that. So Netflix, hurry up and get season 5 to me now. I need it in my system now. Thank you for watching. Peace out.